Well, the DIYers united here. Brittany is joining Ken, and uh, we got Christina down I'm there because we just put it. My pants are wet. Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm fine. Oh, we and that's overall. really wet. Well, Brittany, how authentic are we here? Pretty authentic. Oh, 100% authentic. I knew wow. you guys were amazing on the show, but who knew when I came out with loving all so much? Well, Welcome we could not madness. keep Brittany away yes. from Ken. She was like, I've got to be next to Ken for this segment. Are you like a little bit? And oh, he's going to go. show us how to make the perfect picnic basket. On yes. the I love picnic baskets. I love picnics. Picnic. It's that time you pick a neck baskets. But, like, I am sure you are horrified at the idea of, like, it ruins the elegance when you're eating on, like, paper plates and you pull out the plastic cups. They blow away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they blow away. So why not have a lovely fitted picnic basket? I'll tell you why. Because they're expensive. Mm. Yes, sir. So to get the really fancy ones are, like, four or five hundred bucks. Mm. But you can get, like, a small, very modest one for about 80. I think we have a photo. Yeah. Yep. of wow. one here that I found. Um, but that's still like, you know. That's still expensive. expensive. That's still Eight expensive. Like, yeah. So I figured out how to do it for about 20. Um, and you'll have all the wonderful attributes, but you'll still have money to buy food. What okay. do we need? So all you're going to need is a basket. I got this on sale for 17 bucks. And then um, a piece of scrap fabric, um, a piece of scrap wood, and then some webbing and D-rees. D-rees will cost you about $1.50 for four. And the webbing is about a dollar per yard. So all you need is about a yard. So okay. all you're going to do, cut a piece of wood. Excuse me, Mr. Mark. Boom. A little bit smaller than the lid of your basket, as mm -hmm. you can see there. And then cut a piece of fabric a little bit higher. Christina, step back. Step okay. back. Everybody. DIYers, Love you're, you're used Love to this. Well, she, Brittany's got a, a cone around her. She doesn't get any of this on her. There you go. She's immune Nothing. to that sort of stuff. All you're going to do is do a little glue there. Okay. Do a little glue around the edges. We know how this works. No sew. So. Love it. No sew at all. Um, do your tri sewers. Clip your corners. Glue them down. I think and I'm so, going to become a seamstress. You're going to end up with that. Now, once you've got that, go through with a, with a drill and drill four holes in the corner. Be a little bit careful because it can catch on your fabric, so take your time. Take your time to do that. And then all you're going to do is get your webbing, cut it into four pieces. Two pieces, get two D-rings, fold over. So I'm sorry, it is a little bit so. A little so. That's okay. So. Everybody Many can handle so. a little so bit. So light. <laughs> um, <laughs> double, double stitch that on both, and then all you're going to do... Is chunk 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 chunk. Now this is a picnic basket for two, um, so all I'm going to have is two salad plates in here, so staples will hold. If you happen to be doing it for four um, or bigger plates, you can get like a little metal plate um, mm -hmm. and put on there, but or more staples. You don't really need anything major though. And then get two extra pieces, and you're going to put those horizontally right here, and that's going to hold mm -hmm. your flatware. Do the same, and then to attach it to your basket. All you're going to do is get a bolt, a washer, if you can see this, and you'll see that there, bolt, washer, and then a cap nut, which is that little polished thing. And then all you're going to do, <clears throat> pass it through the top of the basket, if you can see here. Your washer will keep it going through if you have an open weave basket. And then, okay. got my forks caught. All you're going to do, pass it through the top, secure it in place this is with fantastic. a little end cap. Fantastic. Easy breezy so and you're done. Cute. And what did you do with the forkies? Fine. Yeah, so that's the little the little horizontal one. So that just, you know, forks oh, go. Oh, my oh, I see. Holds your that's forks gotcha. in. Right. And you could do additional ones on the inside to hold your wine glasses or your thermos or your blanket. So where's you can really wine? go as. Where's the wine? There, it's. Oh. Kim is hogging there's the wine. Hogging the wine. I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. I have no wine. Everyone's oh, complaining no. that the blanket's it's wet. wet. I'm fine. You're, you have <laughs> <a rubber laughs> pants on.